As we journey to you, O Lord, as we journey to you, O Lord. Hi, everyone. I hope you had a great fifth weekend of Lent. Thanks for joining me as we start our last week together. Let's begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. God of love, my prayer is simple. Your Son, Jesus, suffered and died for me. I know only that I cannot have real strength unless I rely on you. I cannot feel protected from my many weaknesses until I turn to you for forgiveness and your unalterable love. Help me to share this strength, protection, and love with others. Amen. Today's scripture reading comes from the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Together we close in prayer. O loving and gracious God, have mercy, have pity on me, and take away the awful stain of my sin. O wash me, cleanse me from this guilt, let me be pure again, for I admit my shameful deed, 
It haunts me day and night. It is a sin against you and your infinite mercy. Create in me a new, clean heart, O God. Purify me and make me white as snow. Cleanse my thoughts and desires. Restore to me again the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. Jesus, have mercy on me. Jesus, have mercy on me. Jesus, have mercy on me. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Have a wonderful start to your week, and we'll see you tomorrow. As we journey to you.